This is The Daily Habit, and happy 400th episode, everyone. You've seen them on the Arby's Action Sports Awards. You've seen them as the internet phenomenon on the web. They got their start right here at Fuel TV. The innovators behind the new craze known as Crawling. Scott Percy and Jake Turney drop in the studio, and today's musical guests, Fear Before the March of Flames, are here for a white-hot performance. All that so much more coming up next. Welcome, everyone, to The Daily Habit. How's it going, Pat Parnell, Scotty P, Jake T. Uh, welcome to the set, by the way. Thanks for having us. Thank I just want to say I've uh, experienced a lot in my, uh, my years of covering action sports, but uh, I have to say you definitely surprised me with this one. So uh, we're going to get into the nuts and bolts and the, kind of the origins of the sport, but uh, I know you guys have a lot of things going on. Just bring us up to speed. What's been keeping you guys busy? Well, um, we just got back from Palm Springs. We were doing a little scout there, checking out places to session with our mob- mobility aids, yeah. um, we're, uh, working on a new DVD right now, actually. That's right, but uh, more or less, we're really just trying to get the uh, the idea and the sport of crawling out into the ears of the nation. Yeah, and the eyes, as we uh, as we put it in action sports, which is a the visual aspect is huge. And I think for the, a lot of the viewers that haven't seen it, uh, do you mind if we kick off 29 and a half seconds of satisfaction? Uh, yeah, yeah, it would be great if you could do 50. You guys doing the deal? It's pretty impressive. Here it is. I would feel for you. Let me take a little time and reveal a few. Let's start with trust. It's a must from dust to dust. But the ashes come first. So flip it and reverse from then to now. It's a must have. Then there's R E S B E C T. You give to me, I give to you. You put your hands on my shoulders and rub me, rub me, rub me, rub me. Now that's love. I'm on fire and I'm totally supposed to be. There it is, 29 and a half seconds. Uh, innovative uh, technical. Doesn't even begin to describe it. Uh, help us, what were we watching there? What you guys were seeing right there is basically that that's first wave crawling. Yeah, that's, that's what you're watching. That's, that's known as mold school. So um, going back, stuff, I guess, yeah. like the first kind of uh, sessions, and which brings us to kind of the origins. How does something like this even happen, a sport like crawling? Uh, it's, it's a little case of lightning in a bottle, basically. <laughs> yeah, but I guess more... Um, Walker in a closet in this right. instance. Um, My grandfather's closet down in Florida. We were, we were totally bored one day and we just started rooting through, found some really weird stuff in there, but the best thing we found was the mobile, mobile assistant aid is what it's known as. And, uh, and I think, yeah, as soon as we had that, um, that, that walker in our hands and we sort of felt that energy like just pulsing right through it. And I don't know if I was standing too close to an energy source or an outlet, but we got that onto the street and our whole world perspective just changed right there. Nine hours later, you know, we woke up in some hedges and with the... With the <laughs> kind of an action sport accident. Yeah. 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 So I want to, for, for being pioneers of a sport, the question has to be, you guys are leading the way. Who are you getting your inspiration from? There's no, there's no groundwork laid out for you. Yeah, that's right. What we actually have to do is we look at the action sports stars of today and imagine what they're going to be doing 30, 40 years from now. A little clairvoyance there. Okay, so then say Tony Hawk, what, what is he doing when he's 70? 70, 70 or 80, 80 yeah, even, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so it's like uh, taking inspiration from the future as we imagine it. Okay, well I want to talk about too the, the, the phenomenon on the internet of all things, you talk about your demo, but yeah. gaining a lot of acceptance and steam with this sport via the internet. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a catch-22 for us because we're really down was sort of the the uh, the the, uh, um, the 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 belief system of yeah. the youthfully challenged, um, <laughs> and and that and that encompasses sort of being anti-internet. But we're pretty excited about this new crop of YouTube and MySpace videos that that people are doing their own crawling, and it's nice to see that it's actually having a, an impact. Yeah. Here here's the balance, or I guess the precarious position everyone is always faced with a sport like this. You're at that point where it's about to explode. Yeah. How do you keep it from going mainstream? How do you keep its authenticity? Well, we kind of have to drive this train down mainstream right now yeah. because, to be honest with you, the people involved with crawling right now, they probably got about three or four more years on this blue planet. They're about <laughs> to leave, right? Yeah. So we need to get out, get our voice out there, and we need to get some younger people involved in this sport. Yeah. Well, th- can I ask you, will the train be stopping at a uh, contest? You mentioned you're working on videos, but what about the competition aspect of the sport, which sometimes is frowned upon in other, other sports? Um, definitely, definitely. But we have had a lot of interest. Um, 
and you know, Metamucil's come on board recently Definitely. and starting to sponsor a, a tour across the country. Yeah. And uh, you know, Westside uh, West Hospitality has been supplying a lot of uh, mobility aids and a lot of products, so it's... We just, uh, probably our most successful stop was the, the, the Boost Happy Endings uh, home care facility. Uh, um, tour that we did right. definitely as a summer slam jam tour yeah. Yeah. it's it's interesting it's not that you guys have really sold out it's that people are buying in to we, what we've you're, sold you're, in right yeah. to what people do which yeah. brings me to the whole lifestyle it seems like it's such a departure a, a healthy departure or maybe a, a softer departure of what we're used to yeah well I think we're really part of this new slow down movement and uh, I know that that doesn't really jive with the pulse of most action sports but um, with us, it's really about encompassing that uh, youthfully challenged lifestyle and, uh, you know, bringing it into ours. Okay. La last thing, I, I have to say, like I said, I kind of opened my eyes discovering the sport of crabbling, but it, yeah. it forced me to go on the internet and find some things. Stuff like bungee boxing, even uh, things that take your sport maybe for inspiration, then go take it to the illegal route, which is, uh, you know, carpet, uh, something where yeah, they carpeting, hold themselves I've, up I've in carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, your thoughts on that? Can, that people are in, you know, gr drawing inspiration from you guys? Well, I think had we known how large the explosion would have been on this bomb that we've dropped. I mean, well, we, yeah, we would, have, uh, we would have cleared out of the way sooner, <laughs> you know? But uh, I, I'm, I guess we're proud that it's had such an impact um, and people are doing more of these user-based sports all across uh, the country. Um, innovation, progression at its best. Uh, Scotty P, Jake T, we've got more questions. Stay with us. You're watching The Daily Habit here on Fuel TV. Stick around. Fear before the March of Flames marches into the studio when we return, plus the first ever crawling demo here on the Daily Habit stage. Who's got the sickest crawling skills in your neighborhood? We want to know. Text us your answer, 42248. Welcome back, everyone, to The Daily Habit. I'm rejoined by Scotty P and Jake T, the pioneers of the sport of crawling. If you're interested in crawling, you've definitely come to the right place because we're going to do a little tutorial here, a little 101, and then a first ever television exhibition. Uh, I want to start it off, just talk about the rigs themselves. I mean, it looks like a, a walker. Well, you're exactly right, Pat. This is yeah. an Invacare Cruiser Featherlight Aluminum. Uh, walker. It's light. Yeah, nice. so this is pretty much right out of the box. We're purists that way. I, I know a lot of people are doing some uh, post-market mods on them, you know, adding license plates and insignias, but it's we're nice. not really about that. We, we keep the standard polyurethane five, five inch wheels with high impact yeah. bearings standard. Uh, um, we add the TBs, tennis balls. It's just, that's just, uh, yeah. you have to have that when you're hitting the streets. A splash yeah. of color. Yeah. yeah. And the action pro grips right here, they yeah. come standard. Okay, so the grip, but what about like the future? Are, is the company reacting to anything in terms of the, the, the marketplace? Or? Yeah, of course. Uh, we have our own pro model that's going to be coming out. Um, Seriously? The, yeah. the Cruiser 2, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, we're going to be installing some street speakers. Okay, yeah, right and there's the going to be uh, an, an iPod docking station right in the middle. Which is really exciting. Yeah. Unbelievable. And uh, maybe, a, maybe an attachment for the, the hearing impaired? Sure, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And teletyping. So can, can I, uh, you said you'd do a little uh, tutorial for me. Can I try to actually, can I grab this? Sure. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. Um, um, we're going to start you out light. We're not going to do any uh, scariatrics. <laughs> please don't. You, right? Please, yeah. Go, um, go slow. Just, yeah, if you look at Jake's hand, just you want to grab it okay. fakie. All right. Um, okay, a little switch grab. And then a little quick wow. transition. Almost like a truck. Driver, yeah, bar spin, but yeah, and wow. then back, because it's it's really about fluidity of yeah. motion in the bar hop in there. Yeah. Oh, um, well. yeah, you got to be careful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's a scariatrics. Yeah, yeah, that's scariatrics. But I mean, if you land a maneuver like that down, say, like a five stair set, right. um, you're going to be rolling in the, in the gray hay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's like a senior level trick. No, oh, yeah, without yeah. a doubt. Guild yeah, Hunters wanted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we uh, can we see this? Uh, Demo that right I've now? heard so much about. I know you yep. guys are going to do it here. I'm just going to I'm going to try to step out of the way here. Give okay. you guys room on the ramp. Uh, the sure. first ever on television uh, debut of Crawling. Go to it, guys. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Yes. Woo! Nice. Nice. Yeah. See the distance on that? Woo! Yeah. Nice dig. Okay, one big last trick. Oh! Yeah, that was good. Stick that around, you guys. Scotty P, JT, yeah. the pioneers nice. of Crawling. We're going to be back. 
back with them and the Daily Dogs. Great job, you guys. Welcome back, everyone, to The Daily Habit, and uh, we are here with Scott and Jake, and it has been an educating day, to say the least. Are uh, you guys ready for, uh, I'll say a little more who, what, when, when, where? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's uh, on. Uh, The Daily Ducks, here we go. Uh, okay. You guys are in tune with the senior set. Uh, you have displayed this. What is the standard senior citizen discount at the movie theater? Uh, it's easy, uh, it's 10%. Right that is correct. Yeah. 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 So, that's pretty easy. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, we're going to start. We're ramping up. Okay. Next one. Which is the average cost of hip replacement surgery? You should know this one. Yeah, no, it's it's 20 Gs. That, that is correct. Yeah. So we'll give him yeah. a little. Yeah. But I do know a guy who can do it for 15. Yeah. 15? Cash. Yeah. Cash. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'm, yeah. No, thank you. Uh, we covered a, a lot about the potential progression of Crobling going to the next level. I'm going to be just straightforward, guys. Um, what is the next level? <laughs> Well, we're really excited about what people are doing with pelvic stabilizers yeah. out on the streets. I mean, there's like there's a lot of potential for that new uh, mobility aid, for uh -huh. sure. And I've definitely seen some kids with uh, single point or quad point canes, yeah. and they're just doing some amazing stuff. So that's going to be, for sure, the next wave of crobbling. Definitely. Right. The quad point is just amazing. With the, the type of grip you can get, it's just... Uh, okay, I, I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but I'm going to say it's correct. I, I... Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay. And uh, finally, no right or wrong, but uh, you guys got a lot of irons in the fire, a lot of things happening. Can you tell us where you're going to be next couple of months? What's uh, what's in the works? Um, well, I think our next stop is the Ensure Regency Manor Summer City Slam Tour. It's going to be going on next week, I okay. think. Yeah, yeah. So that should be pretty cool. And we're also we're also going to be doing a, a new video called the Assisted Living um, Movie, and so that's going to be a next DVD that we're going to release of uh, full crawling. Yeah. So just spreading the word of crawling. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, I, like I said, uh, definitely, uh, I was educated today, and uh, just continue get the get the word out there. Thanks. Well, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a pleasure. Okay. Uh, Lars. Thanks, Scott uh, Scott Percy, Jake Tierney, thanks for coming on. And as promised, folks, we brought back today's band. The new album is out now, and it is the.